That's a good question. Where does love come from? In my experience, love comes from intimate connection. If I live with somebody for a long time, for example, even if they get on my nerves and I can't stand them, when they're gone, boy, I realize, wow, I really loved that person, no matter who it is. To know somebody deeply is to love them. Babies are so lovable because there's no, there's no barrier to knowing them. There's no filter. They're just totally themselves and therefore instantly lovable. When there is a barrier, then it's harder to love. What is the barrier? The barrier could be ideology, an ideology, a scientific ideology that says these are not actual beings. This is just some woody tissue. This is just a you know, biochemical uh, process happening, but not actually worthy of love. When you don't see somebody, when you dehumanize somebody, that is an obstacle to love too. Racism, for example, that is a barrier or an obstacle to truly seeing somebody. Um, uh, misogyny, any kind of prejudice, any kind of way of seeing somebody as less than they really are, any ideology that makes people less than who they really are, the ideology of the enemy, the ideology of the deplorable, the ideology, any of these judgments that we hold between ourselves and others prevent love from blossoming. So yes, love is born from intimacy. And this on a deep level, this is inseparable from any of the world crises that we're talking about, including climate change, including war, including anything that is an illness on this earth is going to come down to some kind of separation that we've established between ourselves and other people or other beings.